Hello, Pastor Schmidt here, uh, sitting out front of what used to be the, the church, the sanctuary years ago, and then it became our preschool for about 15 years or so. And now we just call it the Annex, but it's still a great building used for many different great purposes. And I'm sitting out front with this beautiful Bougainvillea. I just love Bougainvillea. And they're blooming. They're just beautiful. But be careful if you're going to touch them. they got lots of thorns on them. Today is going to be more informative than instructive. I, I want to remind you of some things. This Sunday is, of course, Palm Sunday. And there will be a sign-up sheet for everyone interested in attending the brunch on Easter. So please, if you're interested, sign up so I know how much food to buy and we know how much food to prepare. Also, next week is Holy Week, my favorite week of the church year. We've got Monday Thursday service at 6.30 with communion. We've got Good Friday service at 6.30. We've got a Saturday service at 6 o'clock. And that Saturday service is going to be identical to the Sunday service of Easter. It's going to be an Easter service uh, for all those people who just kind of want to avoid the crowds of Easter uh, Sunday. So, but, but then Easter Sunday will be 8 o'clock and 9.30 traditional Easter service, followed by the brunch. There you have it. I hope you can come uh, and worship on those, on, on those days. Also, attached to this email will be a link, a link to the Lutheran Sentinel, which is our synod's uh, publication. And I've always loved the Sentinel. We would get that in the mail and when I was a kid, and I, I, I love looking through the Sentinel, looking for people I knew and pictures, but also reading the articles. And this publication this time I, I thought was really well done. And the, the content is, is really cool. And I thought it was neat because it, it really applies to the things we've been studying here throughout the year. Uh, there was a great article on uh, the diet of worms, which has nothing to do with eating crawling worms. Uh, it's about the Reformation, and we had a great study on the Augsburg Confession not too long ago. There's a great article in there about apologetics, and we, we went through a book called The Reason I Believe by Dr. Quist, and that was really, really neat. There's also a neat article on Psalm 125, and remember the lesson I gave you not too long ago. When, when you're reading the Psalms, read it once, and let it speak for you, and then read it twice, let it speak to you. Lots of good stuff in this Sentinel or in this Sentinel publication, so please click on that link and check it out. All right, I'd like to leave you, though, by reading Psalm 125, just to wet your whistle a little bit here before you get into that Sentinel. Psalm 125 says this, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, to those who are upright in heart. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with the evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. Now you heard the song. Now go see what the guy says about it in the article. All right, you guys. As usual, another beautiful day. Hope you're enjoying it. Here comes our faithful secretary, Bethany, walking across. There she is. Can you see her? There she is. All right. She'll be sending this to you shortly. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye.